G'day kids, Ozzy here. Now just before we get stuck into today's episode, if you haven't seen it already, our merchandise is now live on our website, aussieforkids.com, where you can get all of your favorite Aussie items, like the Aussie hat, made especially for kids' heads, or the mini replica Aussie tea. How cool is that? All for our mini Aussie fans. And if you love Aussie that much, you can even get three things in a combo, a hat, a shirt, and a sweatband, all on our website. But one of my favorite items is this one, the Aussie socks, with this little touch here. Stay keen, kids, as always. Available right now on our website, aussieforkids.com. In the meantime, kids, enjoy this episode, and stay keen. Aussie, 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 oi! Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day Aussie. G'day Aussie. G'day Aussie. G'day Aussie. G'day Aussie. G'day Aussie. G'day kids, Aussie here. Today we're going to learn all about seasons. Now, I'm not talking about footy seasons. I'm talking about the weather. Firstly, a year on Earth is divided into four seasons. But does anybody know the names of these seasons? Summer, autumn, winter, and spring. That's great, kids. Thanks for your help. Now, summer is usually warm and sunny. Autumn, or fall, is when the leaves fall off the trees. Winter is when the temperatures get really cold. And spring is when it starts to warm up again and the flowers start to grow. But do you know what causes Earth to have different seasons at different times of the year? Well, it's because Earth slowly orbits or spins around the sun, and it takes 365 days or a full year to complete one lap. While it goes on its journey around the sun, it's tilted on an angle. With the Earth tilted on an angle, or its axis, it means that at different times throughout the year, there's always one part of the Earth leaning more towards the sun. The part that's closest to the sun gets more light and heat and is in the season called summer. The part of the Earth that's tilting away from the sun has less light and heat, and that is experiencing winter. You can learn more about this in our space episode if you haven't already seen it. Now, for example, Countries like Europe, USA or India in the Northern Hemisphere experience winter in December, January and February. That's when the Northern Hemisphere is tilted away from the sun and the days feel shorter because there's less daylight hours. If you live anywhere south of the equator in South America or oceanic countries such as Australia where I live, it's summer during these months. And that's because the southern hemisphere is tilted towards the sun and the days feel longer because there's more daylight hours and more sun. The season in the northern hemisphere is always opposite to that in the southern hemisphere. Seasons cause big changes in the weather and our environment. Sunlight and heat impact the length of each day and the daily temperature in different seasons as well as the amount of rainfall. So let's learn more about what types of weather we feel during each of these seasons. Summer is the hottest of the four seasons. In summer, the days or the daylight hours are longer than the nights. It's usually nice and warm, and days are great for swimming, spending time outside, and having a good old Aussie barbecue to make the most of the longer sunlight hours. Many crops like wheat are also harvested near the end of summer and it's a great time to take a holiday or a vacation. Autumn is the time between summer and winter. As summer ends, autumn arrives and the temperatures start to cool down a little. Leaves on the trees change color to red, brown or yellow and start to fall to the ground, which is why in many parts of the world this season is also known as fall. Winter is the coldest season. It snows in many places during the winter, and it's the time of year to enjoy sports like skiing, snowboarding, and ice skating. 
It's also the time of the year for fires, cosy jackets, scarves and beanies, or hats to keep warm. The nights of winter are longer than the daylight hours, and many animals migrate from one place to another to reach the warmer areas. Spring is the season between winter and summer, and the temperature starts to warm up. It's a very beautiful season and is sometimes called the season of regrowth. The trees start to grow new leaves, flowers start to bloom, and nature seems to come back to life again. In countries near the equator though, the imaginary line that divides the earth into the northern and the southern hemisphere, there are only two seasons, wet and dry. Countries near the equator have about the same amount of daylight and darkness and are quite warm all year round. And here's a cool fun fact for you. Sunrise and sunset at the equator are the fastest on earth and it only takes a few minutes to go from dark to light or light to dark, just like that. But it's important to know that weather can be unpredictable, which means we can see different weather types in all seasons. For example, sometimes we might have a cold, windy summer day or a warm, sunny winter day. So we've all learnt the names of the seasons, summer, autumn, winter, and spring. But did you know that Australia's Aboriginal cultures have completely different seasons, each based around the local weather conditions? Across Australia, hundreds of Aboriginal groups follow unique seasons that are indicated by specific weather events and the availability of resources on their country. For example, I live on Darawal country, which has six seasons. Gadalung Maru, which is January to March. Banamurayang, which is April to June. Tagara Tuli, which is June to July. Tagara Ganimari, which is August. Murai Yangori, which is September to October. And Gurai Murai, which is November to December. Now I apologize if I have pronounced some of those words wrong. There are so many Aboriginal seasonal calendars, all guided by the land. So I encourage you to learn all about the seasons on the land in which you live. Now I hope you've enjoyed learning all about seasons today with Aussie. I'll see you again this Sunday for another brand new episode of Aussie. Until then, stay keen and stay warm or cool or dry, depending which season you're in right now. Stay keen. If you haven't already, make sure you get a grown up to help you hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss out on any of the new and exciting videos that we put out. Speaking of new and exciting, if there's a video that you'd love to see Aussie do, make sure you send us a message on our socials, on Facebook or Instagram at Aussie for Kids. We'll see you again soon kids, and until then, stay keen. Oh, and by the way, did you happen to find the hidden Aussie icon in that video? Yeah, make sure you look closely because they're in every single video. That's right, stay keen kids. Aussie, 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 oi. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine.